Welcome to Drew in the moment. We are here in Orlando at Gatorland. We finally made it over here. This is our first time going to Gatorland. So it's gonna be an adventure for all of us. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I did wanna let you guys know that if you are a Florida resident, you get half off tickets until March 31st, but you have to come here to actually get that. You cannot get that online because they need to see your Florida ID. Uh, but we are so excited to show you guys around and check out some gators. The first thing you do before you go into Gatorland, you gotta come out and get an iconic picture in front of this gigantic gator. Look how cool that is, man. Wanted to show you guys regular general admission, $34.99 for an adult, $24.99 for kids. Uh, but there are some other things that are extra money like the Gatorland Express Train all day pass for $3. Also, you can zip line, are you kidding me? And also go rock climbing. Uh, I do know the zip lining is $55. So it's a, it's, it's a little up there, but it does look like a lot of fun. And also just so you guys know, so you can you know navigate your day, Gatorland is open daily, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So get here early so you can get all of everything that they have to offer here at Gatorland. So we made it in and Queen V is here. What you looking at? Guys, right there. Oh. There are so many of them. Wow. That is insane. Look. Oh my god. He's, cl he's just climbing over everybody else. <laughs> This, right off the bat, this this place is called Gatorland, and they are not messing around. That is a lot of gators. Holy cow. This is what's crazy, is Gatorland, it's family owned and operated since 1949. It is one of the oldest attractions here in Florida, as far as I know. And we have gators everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at this gigantic oh my gosh we need to get closer to that absolute monster we promised we'd get closer to this goliath oh guys it is i know it's not translating on video this thing is so huge what would you say 10 feet long let me zoom in Look at this. That is the big boy. Prehistoric animal. <laughs> this is insane. And like next to him's like probably a five foot gator. Look at that little bird. It's like he is gonna hang. Oh in yeah, that little bird is uh asking for trouble. He's pretty brave. He's pretty brave, braver than I'd be. Now here is a better look. Oh my goodness. Oh. So this one is like the kids area for like... Like teenagers. Three to five year oh, old you're kids. right. Look at this. So three to five year old gators. And they... Oh, this is the most gators I have seen in one spot. This is just insane. I can't even... You get them like, you get them ominously like swimming in the water. Like look at them. They look, they look scary. <laughs> Seriously, this is crazy. In case you guys want to feed the baby gators, three for five, and you go over there, I guess, and, uh, and oh, we gotta do that. We're gonna do that. Let's feed some gators. Oh, and flip it on in here. Gotcha. Awesome, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Have fun. I got fish. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my fingers all fishy. Totally worth it. So you can get three fish for five, or you can get like twenty, whatever you want to pay. But they give you this little rod here. I'm gonna show you how to put it on. My my hands are gonna smell so bad. So he said to go through 
the fish like this, okay? okay? You're gonna do that. And one and then everybody. you have a little clip here. Gonna do and you clip, clip, clip it on. Okay. And it's as simple as that. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Drop this. You're going to that pool right there or these three baby oh, ones? Don't yeah, fall. here we go. You want to get pulled in the okay? We're going to hang on to you okay. fishing when you're done. Just hold it like... There you go. Uh, Y'all have fun, okay? <laughs> I don't know what else to do with it. I'm really not trying to tease it. Fine, ten folks. We got that oh baby alligator. <laughs> you can get chewed up here chew in front of the park. I guess. Like, I don't know what else to do. Hold you. This is how Drew is going to spin. Yeah, like I'm. Visiting I caught a gator. <laughs> oh, gee, oh, oh, gee. Again? Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. I just didn't want to pull hard. I didn't want to hurt the, the gator. Bigger gators. Let's see. Let's see if I can get them to come out of the water. Yeah. Keep going. Hey, oh, Ready? I even got it. Oh, dude, that was awesome. Wow. That was awesome. Very, very cool. And we have one more. And we got one more to go. Queen, do you want to do it? Okay. Queen's going to do it. Hey guys, if you're gonna Let's do this, you do now. have a hand washing so station. I'm just to let you know. Left hand side. Getting clean. Exactly. Gotta get clean. All right, guys. Queen is going to feed. Look at her. She's all excited. I think she's nervous too. Let's see. All these gators are excited. Look at that. Oh, oh, they are all getting wild. They're getting wild. Oh, yeah! Yes! Nice job! Oh, my God, they almost ate the fish. I know, you gotta hold on to it. How cool is that? That was good. Like, almost that same feeling of fishing. Yes. With a little pole. Yes. With a bit, just a gator on the end of it. <laughs> Not only gators, but look at this beautiful bird. Wow, that's a big bird. And it's just funny because it's just hanging out you, with all of these guys. I got to grab your fish in just a second. Let's go, y'all. So just so you guys know, you are 100% guaranteed to see a gator. Just to let you know some more information, they have ice cold soft serve ice cream here for $4. Ooh, yeah. That's not Ellen, they have. Right? It's not for our gators. No, no, not for the gators. And look at this. Oh, they have Dole Whip, oh, Banana Split, Italian Ice Gelato. They're really doing it. They're really doing it big here. <gasps> Watch out for the gator. Oh my. All right, we need a picture. <laughs> picture time. They've got a great amount of like seating here. They also have bratwurst, pulled pork sandwiches, hot dogs. In case you guys get hungry while you're here cheese pizza they got a frito pie those are always really good and available here they have some adulted beverages as well just so in case you're a little you know nervous and you need a little something to relax you they got that going on but yeah just a bunch of nice seating so you guys can relax you don't feel rushed and just enjoy the day look at this drill what, what is going on here Lot. Look at the look at the one right there. Just taking a little taking a little siesta on mom or dad. <laughs> this is one of the coolest places I have to admit that I've ever been to since we've moved here to Florida. Now I know you guys are going to be taking a bunch of photos and video when you come. I just want to show you this is hilarious. Look at this photo op. Look at this. That is adorable. <laughs> is that awesome? That's too funny, right? <laughs> I love it. Queen, you want to try it? Okay. Queen's going to have to try it. That neck is here? The neck is here, but you got to hide your arm. Go, you I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you look so tiny. <laughs> That's hilarious. We have like a gator zen. You got some, looks like flamingos back there. We're going to have to go investigate that. 
but man, it's really calm and very serene here. It's really, really a nice, a nice space. So, I was just thinking what Queen just said to me. Let them know what you just told me. It's very chill. Like the vibes here, so I like it. It's very laid back. Yeah. It's like not mm -hmm. rushing. You know, we, we go to the Disney parks and other parks and things like that, which it sometimes can be very, yeah. very, a lot of stimulation there. You know what I mean? And, and here, it's just really calm, mellow, and chill. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a great place for that, for real. They have a few different like shows that go on. This is the Jumperoo show. Unfortunately, we missed it. It was at 1130, but they do give you a show schedule. So there's like Up Close Encounters, the Jumperoo show, Legends of the Swamp. Uh, the Gator Jumperoo show will be again at 430, but unfortunately that's too late for us. But I just wanna let you guys know to uh, check that schedule when you come on in so you don't miss stuff. What we have realized is this place is a lot bigger than we thought because there's a bunch of stuff going on. I do want to go see if we can get over to the petting zoo because I'm a big fan of the petting zoo. Uh, but this is like all the stuff they got going on here. Over to my left, they have a cool little splash pad area for, you know, the kids when it gets hot. There's a little play area, it's so cute. I know, I wish, they had, a big, I wish they had a big kid play area. I saw some of the little gator there. Love it. Oh, look at that fish! So today at 11.45, I don't know if the shows vary, but for $5, I guess you can get inside of this pen area, and for $10, you can feed these gigantic tortoises. Holy cow. These things are gigantic. Oh, look at this guy. Are you kidding me? I gotta say, this is the biggest tortoise I've ever seen in my life. This is truly amazing. So not only gators here, but you have these beautiful tortoises. Oh my word, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. And we're gonna have to come back, I'm realizing, because there's a lot of stuff I think I want to do here. Like, I would love to go in into this area and feed these tortoises. That guy's like, I've had enough, I'm going home. I'm taking my baseball and I'm going home. Wow. Let's see if I can, eating. he's eating. I wanna see if I can zoom in on his little face. These, these creatures are just beautiful. Wow. I can't imagine how old, I know how old this guy is. Or girl. Across from where we just saw the tortoises, they have the baby gator marsh. Look at these little guys! <laughs> they are so cute! Seriously! Those ones are adorable! Look at their little faces! That is so cool! And this is definitely going to be uh, not my favorite area. I'm not a big... I'm not a big fan of snakes. Uh, is it up there? Yeah, there? You have to zoom it in. I gotta yeah. zoom that in. You got this guy here, but you also have this huge snake. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. This thing is very big. That is a big python. I mean, it looks pretty cool from, uh, you know, being outside. He does. He's very photogenic. Look at the... This is the original Jub Jub from The Simpsons. Look at this dude. He is... Look at, look at his eyes. He's like, I'm not, I'm not buying it. Look at him. <laughs> These are so cool. These are awesome. Oh, look, look. No, no, he knows what's going on. Look at him. He's eyeballing us. He's eyeballing us. That is insane. How cool is this place? This place is mind blowing for me right now. It really is. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is way better than what I was expecting. Let's head over to Panther Springs and check out some Panthers. Panthers. Pan I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Those are, those are some vicious animals. So don't mind the fan. I know it's loud, but look at these panthers in there. Yeah, they're doing some construction. Look at that. Oh man, I would not want to meet one of those in the wild. 
We were just in this area. I want to show you, they got like a big map so you guys will be able to figure your way around. Up top here, you know, they got the zip line over here. Uh, but what we're going to be doing shortly at two o'clock, they have a show and it said E, we're going to have close encounters. So we know it's going to be right there. So it gives you everything you need to know to kind of like navigate around the park. Earlier in the video, I was telling you guys about they have a train thing you can take and look, here is the train crossings. You gotta make sure you look both ways, right? Before we just head through. And now we're gonna go check out the alligator breeding marsh straight ahead. So the breeding marsh is the Wading Bird Rookery and Observation Tower. Let's check out this tower. Oh, no big deal. Just a bunch of gigantic gators, you know, all, all, and they're getting fed. Look at that. <laughs> this is crazy. Many. They're like everywhere. They are truly everywhere. Look at that tower up there. Yeah, that's that zip line tower. Oh, it's very high. That is very high. We've got just some birds, beautiful birds perched in the trees. Look at that. Whoa. What a beautiful. This is almost, it really is almost like a, uh, a preserve a little bit. I think that's really kind of what it is. So we've been walking around. We're gonna go up to this tower to observe the area. Are and we you? We are ready. Oh, we are ready. We're, We're ready for the day. We're retraining the park a little bit. That's right, right. To climb up some stairs. And here we go with the big climb. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that thing over. Th look at that guy climbing up over the barrier. <laughs> You can do it. You can do it. He's on the struggle bus right now, that's for sure. He did it, he did it. That is crazy. Holy oh shit. He is gigantic. <laughs> we made it to the top, everybody. We did it. Look at the beautiful view we have up here. This is awesome. Wow. And all the birds in the trees. This is gorgeous up here. That way. With the trees. Oh yeah. There's some dense forest. And guys, this is we're we're pretty high up here. And of course, they've got this so we don't drop phones and cameras and it feels like the tower is moving. moving. I'm not lying right now. I think this tower is moving. Across the way, I'm focusing in on that tower over there. That is uh, the zip line tower. I don't know if they have more than one, but we know for a fact, because we saw like that guy going right there. Look at him. That is so awesome. Man, I want to do that. We're going to have to come back, guys, and, uh, and do some zip lining, I think. Or at least I will, because I know Queen Bee doesn't uh, want to no. try it. <laughs> it over to the petting zoo area i want to let you guys know if you want to feed them these are you know one cone 250 and so forth and for aviary for birds and for tortoises there you go some pricing but let's go check out some animals this is one of my favorite things is the petting zoo look at these guys this is awesome oh my god Got a bird over there. He's talking. Look at these guys. I love goats. I gotta say, I love goats. I love all animals, basically. Except snakes kind of wake me out, but I still love them. What's up, dude? Hi. Oh, no, he just walked right out. Yeah, he walked by. Hi. Whoa, look at that guy. Oh, the little guy was running. This is so awesome. What's up, dude? What's up? Hi. Hi. He's just licking. I don't know what he's licking. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, Hi. my goodness. So awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm the guy that if I see a dog walking out, you know, walking with the owner. I always want to pet the dog. I'm like, can I pet your dog? I can't help it. <laughs> Queen always laughs, but I can't help it. We made it to the up close encounter show. It's got, you know, stadium seating. So make sure you 
you get your spot for the show. And it's gonna happen right over here. This is gonna be awesome. There goes the train that I was talking about that you can go take around for a spin. That is pretty darn cool. Hey, you're doing great. High five. Yeah, high five. Go give him a big old high five. <laughs> I can tell you're not a fan of this, so I'm not going to make you hold it. That'd be cruel. No, it's okay. Hold your hand out flat. You got it. Michael's going to help you. Stand out flat. You got this. You got this. <laughs> some people want to keep them as pets because they got all those cute and cuddly hairs. And some people think they're delicious. This animal is actually considered a delicacy for some. Take a look at it. What do you think it's going to taste like, guys? Spider. Spider. Good, good answer. And I heard some people say chicken. Those, those people are scary. No. They say if you crack open the abdomen, pour it on into a skillet season with just a bit of salt and pepper, it's going to taste just like scrambled eggs. Let's say, you know, who likes scrambled eggs? Anyone? Anyone? You, my friend, have a bite. Come on. Come on. Ah. Hey, what, what? No, why not? Because you can't feed the tarantula to the guests. Then why can't I? Because you gotta cook it first, so it doesn't taste right. Oh, Put these guys away, all right? All right, well, we get our balls here, another big round of applause. Uh, what's the weight limit on the hook? Mine says 20 pounds. All right, let's see. Plant fitness, don't fail me now. All right. <laughs> oh, my God, it's cold outside. All right, you guys. Can anybody tell me what this is? That's right, it is a snake. Does anybody know what kind of snake this is? That's right, it is a cotton now. Do you just want a free snake? Come get him. No, okay, no, stay there, stay there, I'm kidding. But you know, she's right, this is a cotton mouth, right? This is one of the six venomous snakes you find here in the state of Florida. And this is a baby, right? This one's only a juvenile. The reason you can tell it, it has these beautiful juvenile bands going all the way down to the tip of the tail. Now, the second, or when, the reason they get the name cotton mouth is because they open up their mouth, they have this nice white lining that's in there, and it contrasts the dark body on the snake. Uh, with the other name, water moxin, you know, where you guys think they live at? The water. In the water. What do you guys think they eat? Moccasins. No. <laughs> they don't eat shoes. Yep, they eat fish, turtles, turds. I mean, turtles and birds. They're not big eaters by any means, right? Uh, but you know, one thing that is really cool is it's one of the most common venomous snakes you have here in the state of Florida. We actually find them out on the lakes, on the swamp walk, under the bleachers. You never know where you might find them at. Can anyone tell me what this guy is? A rattlesnake spot on, guys. This right here is an eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Wow. The largest species of rattlesnake in the world. We're going to break down that name real quick. Eastern, because they live on the eastern side of the United States. And diamondback comes from that diamond-like pattern you see going from his head. He is venomous, and he won't bite if you get any closer. Their venom, it's no joke. That's not Just right. one drop is more than enough to kill a full-grown adult. If he's biting you, get a little bit more than just one drop. Their size isn't a joke either. Since they're the largest, they'll add anywhere between five and eight feet when fully grown. And add in the fact that they're relatively common here in Florida. Well, four locals make up a bunch of crazy rumors about these guys. I had a guy talking to me once about them. said, oh, I know these guys. They, uh, they hunt in packs. They kill by the thousands. They broke into my house, beat them over there with a baseball bat, text max, why do I love and miss her? Every year done putting that away, can you come help me? We're going to go big oh, awesome. Absolutely. Okay. We're going big, guys. The they're opening oh, the big I box. Love that box. I can't wait. Screaming the other yeah. Holy cow! Whoa, 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 hey, do, do not scare me, I'm holding a snake. Whoa, whoa, what is it? What's, what, what's up? It's a cow! Okay, uh, <laughs> funny. Why would they put a cow in a box? <laughs> Did it steal your... Okay. Oh, it ate the cow! But it ate the cow! Okay, okay, now, now you're scaring me. I'll be back there in one second. Whoa, oh, my... What is that thing? It's a cow. No, that, where did you go to cow school? That is not a cow. All right, look, Michael, I lied to you. I'm sorry. It's not a cow, but it looks like it could eat a cow. Yeah, it definitely could eat a cow. Uh, how do you want to handle this? Um, I figured I would grab by the antlers. You could grab the back legs and watch out for the tentacles. No. Okay. Why do you have to cheat? No. All right, don't cheat. Uh, to get a oh, why do we put kids? a tree in there? That was Dude, all right, hang on. We got caught off on a branch. Two branches. So many trees back here. I hate these. <laughs> all right, are they cheating now? No. All right, we got a caught up. Oh, jeez. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I have the head, and it's okay. It's a man-eating snake. It's okay. You got it. You got it. It's okay. Look, and it's a man-eating snake. You're a girl. You'll be okay, all right? 
That's why you at the end with a head, and as long as you don't squeeze it, it won't bite you. Don't squeeze this thing. All right, what is this? You guys are close. This is a red tail boa constrictor. These guys are native to South and Central America. This is one of the largest snake species in the world. They get anywhere from 10 to 13 in feet when they're fully grown. And they are constrictors, meaning they latch onto the prey, give the big hugger squeeze death, and then they swallow it whole. Now, people tend to look at the head on the snake and think it can't eat anything that big. This snake can expand her jaws five to 10 times the size of its own head. And he's something incredibly large. It's very impressive. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Five? Five to ten times. You're, you're kidding me. You, you mean like this big? Yeah, that big. Sir, can I borrow that baby? <laughs> How cool is that? That was really fun. I feel bad for Nikija, though. I don't think she wanted to hold that snake, man. I, I will probably be freaking out, too. I, I, I knew a big snake was coming out. I wanted, I tried to volunteer. I didn't get picked this time, but next time, it's on. I'm yeah, gonna hold that, that fun, snake. And those guys were very funny. Very funny, yes. Very, uh, very well done yeah. show. You know what I mean? A lot of humor and a lot of info. So uh, that was very cool. Right, let's keep exploring. Let's keep doing it. And if you guys have you know enjoyed yourself through the video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe, leave a comment, boop that like to help us keep going and keep growing. I had said it earlier about rock climbing. They have the Croc Rock Climbing Wall. Look at that thing. Oh, I would totally do that. And like I said, it is a, uh, you know, other things you do have to pay extra, uh, extra money for here. But this is just a ton of fun here. I, I got to come back and do all this. Because today we don't have enough time to do everything, I did want to show you guys though, they have Alligators, Legends of the Swamp. They have two show times today. Wanted to show you over here. Yeah. So obviously, Somebody comes here. someone comes here and I guess plays with some gators, wrestles some gators. I'm, I'm really not sure, but uh, it is another show. There's so much stuff. I feel like you really could spend quite a lot of time during your trip here. There is no lack of food and beverages here. This is another place to eat. I want to show you guys. Just walk up. And this is a different menu than the other stuff that they had. It looked like they had some chili, some macaroni and cheese, loaded french fries, buffalo wings, a lot of good stuff going on. So. And they have a bunch of my seating. Oh yes, and some uh, some more seating. It, look, it looks like, yeah, you're not, you're not gonna have a lack of seating here, like, and you won't leave here hungry. That's for darn sure. I cannot believe how big so this place much. is. Seriously, it's stuff to do. So they have some big birds over here. Look at this. This is like a zoo. This is an emu. We got an emu over here. Look at this. Look at this guys. Oh my goodness. What? I I can't stress how large this place is. This is an amazing place and we are definitely coming back and i hope you guys get a chance to come here too look at this guy right here look at him just look at him <laughs> look at him very exciting look at this guy oh, there no way these are very cool birds i i think i'm a fan of emus now you are yes hello look at that is this like like emu kind of like emo Tonight, tonight, I will fall for you, yes. right? <laughs> Here comes the train. <laughs> this is awesome. The Gatorland Express. And it's $3 all day long. $3 and you can ride it, you know, as much or as little as you want. All day long, Queen's just been like, Drew, we need to go on the swamp walk. I was, I was. So guess what? Let's do the swamp walk. No, but the gator, the gators are cute. Wait, wait, what is this? Pops Superstar. You know the world's most interesting man from those TV commercials? Pops is the gator version of that guy. 
So I believe that's Pops over there. That would be my best guess. The big boy. Look at him. What's up, Pops? Amazing. They do have some fish. I the, the gators must uh they must go ham wild with all the fish in there. Okay, so we are really kind of getting into a little more like real nature, it looks like. So pristine, untouched Florida. So we are gonna be going, I guess, in the wetlands. Maybe in a little one. I don't think they're gonna bring us to the no, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'll tell you, just with all of the forest and, you know, all the trees around, I can already feel yeah. the moisture. The moisture. Look, Queen's dancing. She's so excited to go on the, on the Swamp Walk. You know what we should rename it? Wow. The Swamp Dance Walk. Oh <laughs> I'm just showing this so you guys 100% understand. Warning, this is a real live swamp. Ain't nothing fake out here. So uh, don't leave the walkway. I can't wait to see what we're in for here. <laughs> As they said, nothing is fake out here. This is a real snake in the wild. Just kicking it. <laughs> I feel like this might be kind of like the Dagobah system <laughs> from Star Wars. Seriously. This is very, very cool. Very swampy, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. These trees, I don't know if it translates, you know, onto video, but these trees are just beautiful, man. Wow. Very cool. This is such a, uh, I feel like we're on, you know, a real adventure queen. No. A real adventure through the swamps. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. I like looking everywhere for snakes. Yes, yes. Keep your eye out for snakes. And they got a little rest area. Just to hang out. Just to hang out. I don't think I want to be hanging out too long on the swamp trail. But man, these trees. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Right here, this shot. It reminds me of Nightmare Before oh, Christmas. Yeah, the star of the movie. Yes, when Jack goes in the forest. We just read a sign that this tree right here is 500 years old. That is crazy. That is I think it's three. It's estimated over 500 years old. Wow. Wow. So it said, it said this tree sprouted around the time that Columbus sailed the ocean blue. That's insane. That is crazy. So we just noticed this little guy, little turtle, poking his head not out. Little. Yeah, he's not really little, is he? He's actually quite a big turtle. That's a snapping turtle. Oh, here you can see a little one. Turtle. Wow. Oh, he's a big boy. So they have a place called the Bobcat Bayou, where they have a bobcat on top of the roof. Look at that guy. Wow. Look at that guy. That is amazing. And that guy chilling over there. Bobcats are a lot bigger than you think they are. They're like a big kitty. It's a big kitty cat, but very dangerous. And all of you thought we weren't going to have a zen moment. Come on now. Look at this. Nice little water element. That's gorgeous. Uh, and this is what we were talking about, is how how tranquil and real mellow and laid back, I really. really. Like that. You know, it's really laid back. And then you got just gators okay. like, look, see, they know it's mellow. That's why they're hanging out and just chillaxing. You got turtles here, you got fish you can feed. There really is like something for everybody, young and old. So we go from a really cool bird to some zip lining. This is so cool. This is something I need to come back and do. This dude's getting ready. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, dude. So awesome. And they go all the way over to the, uh, the other tower over there. 
Those of you that have been watching our channel for long enough know that I love these things. It's the mold o matic Look. <laughs> It was me from earlier, you know? Really wrestling that gator. Five dollars and you get yourself a little mold. Now it's time to show you guys some more gators, but also some flamingos, because they are very, very red, right? The flamingos that we saw from afar over here, they're not even pink. Some of them are like almost bright red. So let's check them out right now. We got Charlie over here surfing a gator. Look at him. He's working his balance. <laughs> He's working his balance. <laughs> and it, these gators are up close and personal, man. Wow. How many? This is just crazy. It just, I keep seeing this and it's blowing my mind because this, never seen this in my life. Not like this. Oh, what are these guys doing over here? Oh my God. Oh, they're feeding them. That's why. Look. Crazy. This is what I was speaking of. Look, you have some that are like pink, and then these other ones that are like almost red. They're like a neon red. They are gorgeous. They are, they are gorgeous. Wow, man, these are beautiful. Beautiful birds. Oh, wow, look at that guy. In case you guys wanted to feed some gators, they do sell some gator chow. We're looking at one bag for 50, all the way to 10 bags for 30. Gator chow is only for alligators, remember that. And these are the bags you will get to feed some gators. It's bird time. We're gonna go inside of the aviary area. Oh, look at that. Here we go, I love bears. Oh. Trying to be the bird whisperer. Oh my beautiful. Look at this down. Come on, get some food. Anybody? They don't want to eat. They're too full. Wow. He was on my finger. <laughs> we just were walking by and saw these albino gators. Man, they are cool. And actually, uh, in a vlog about a year ago, I think it was, I got to, ha uh, to hold a baby albino gator. So unique and very cool. And another gigantic albino gator. He's staring at us. He's like, what do you want? That thing is large and in charge. I know this is a, this is a different area that we just showed you with the other albino one. Look at him just chilling out. Maxing and relaxing. She's Mary Kate. Mary Kate? And what was it? Tree sauce, I think. Oh, tree sauce. Wow. Just, these are just amazing prehistoric animals. We could not believe that these birds are just out in the open. They are just hanging out. That is crazy. Look. What's up? Hello, pretty bird. Look at him. He's feisty. Oh, we bite. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to... He wanted me to read the sign. He did want me to read the sign. I'm not going to mess around then. This is parrot pandemonium. Jeez, 
These are loud, and this is why. No, but this is why they warn people if you're thinking about thinking about getting a parrot, you might want to you might want to think twice. Oh my gosh. Wow. You got this guy screaming over here. And then you got this beautiful bird over here just making majestic little sounds. That's a beautiful bird. Well, hello there. Hi. How you doing? They are beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and on your way out, guys, I wanted to just show you guys they have a gift shop to get all of your, you know, gator shirts or what is this over here? Honey or hot sauce? Just a bunch of stuff. We got Queen over there <laughs> looking at a gator. And guys, this is like a mammoth gift shop. It really is. There is a ton of things. Toys for the kids, all kinds of nice goodies <laughs> as Queen's walking with her gator. I like that. And what should they do? What should they do when they are leaving our video? They should subscribe to Drew in the Moment. <laughs> But yeah, seriously, though, great gift shop here. A lot of good stuff, guys. So you might want to uh, take a little time on your way out and uh, grab yourself some merch. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for our video today. Holy cow is all I got to say. Gatorland is a must visit. It is worth the money. It is not a tourist trap. I just want yeah. you guys to understand that, right? Yes, we were talking about it. I can't be tall what? Yeah. But no. Like we didn't know. And, and it's not it's our first time here. Our first time at Gatorland. All I gotta say is Gatorland, dude, keep doing what you are doing. Because this was an amazing experience. I love it. I wanna I wanna come back. We wanna come back and I think uh, for Florida residents the annual pass like 50, 50 60 fun, bucks, something yeah. like that. Yeah, so which I think is totally worth it, but we are definitely gonna have to come back. I need to do the zip lining, I gotta do the rock climbing. And uh, a couple shows we missed, but man, what an experience. It is a must if you're in the Orlando area. Do not miss this, do not. We know we missed a couple things to show you guys, but we're gonna come back. We are gonna come back. We're gonna do another video uh, with some other things. We're gonna do some other things in the next video. I but hope this video helped you guys. Yes, I, yes, vision. yes, absolutely. So you can understand pricing, what's available here, uh, just, just an amazing time but thank you guys for watching the video uh take care of yourself take care of all your loved ones be good to each other out there and until we see you next time remember there's only one way to live in the moment with a bunch of gators <laughs> amazing see you later alligator <laughs>